Good morning, boys and girls. I hope this finds you all well. We are going to get started right away with handwriting today. So you can see I have my binder set out. And just to prove to you that I try and keep my binder nice and organized, I'm just going to open it up and show you. I got my notebook. I got my folder. I got all of my work and assignments. Now, like I said before, I know it can be a little bit difficult to go through your binder and pull it out and put it back in and pull it out and put it back in. But I think it's a good way to stay organized. Now, once you get home, if you choose to, you can go ahead and feel free to take the stuff out of your binder and put it on your desk or put it on shelves. As long as you do your best to keep it neat and organized and you know where things are but everything is three hole punched for you so you can keep it in your binder if you choose to but that's really going to be up to mom and dad or guardians or whoever takes care of you so the other thing i'm going to show you i like to keep right next to me is just a little cup full of pens and pencils and markers just in case I need them. Like I told you yesterday, the kids that were here, really all you're going to need is a pencil and possibly some crayons, markers, or colored pencils at some point. You shouldn't really need anything else, so don't worry too much about that. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video now so I can go ahead and flip to my handwriting and then I'm going to continue the video. So thanks for listening. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. I know it's, <clears throat> excuse me. I know it's difficult to see, but we are working on the letter D today and I will zoom in so you can see a little bit more clearly. Now I have my name at the top, top of my paper. I'm zoomed in and I'm ready to go. I have my pencil nice and handy and I'll use uh, a color of highlighter or a color of marker to help show you the loop. So I think I'll use blue today um, just so I can contrast those colors. In any case, these are still C stroke letters. This is the letter D in cursive. And it says, put your pencil a small step down at 2 o'clock on the dot and write the letter D as instructions are read. So I'm going to go ahead and put my pencil down because I'm going to read the instructions too. It says, make a C stroke, slant up to the top line, retrace back down to the writing line. And that is how you make the letter D. So you can go ahead and rewind that as you need to, but again, one more time traced over, two o'clock position, C stroke, a little bit of slant going up, and then straight back down the line and make your little loop. Like I said, I will show you, or I like to show you, how these letters are connected. So I will tell you, if you are coming from a letter before, then you would take your loop and come up and start your C stroke. And then you would continue up at a slant to the top line. And then, once you finish with that, you are going to, I don't have a good color for this, so I might just use a highlighter, um, which is green, so I don't know how well it'll contrast, but back down the same line and loop back up. So that's how I make my D and that's how I connect it. I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of the directions and then I'm going to do the first line. I'll read the directions and do the second line, read the directions and do the third line and so on until we get done. So just follow along with the video and make sure you just double check your work and make sure you're working slowly and carefully. The cursive letter D is made just like the D in Easy Write Printing that you've learned before. Follow the directions and it will be easy to do. <laughs> Little joke there they put in for you. Write a line of Ds, make the C first, then finish the D. Now that I have my line of Ds, I'm going to move on to the next one. Write a line of Ds in twos as you practice coming up and around to the two o'clock start for the next D. When I do this, 
I have to start a little bit over and I'm going to make my C stroke come down and then you can see I make a new C stroke and then I go straight up and straight down and that's how I connect my D's and twos. Once you finish, move on to the next line. Write the word code as you continue to practice connecting the two o'clock start. Circle your best word. I should probably show you how to do this at least once before I go ahead and write my line. So I'm going to make my C stroke and the O has a C stroke in it also. And then I'm going to loop around and then there's my D with the C stroke. And then the E does not have a C stroke, but it's right there on the end. So I can fit probably three or four more codes in there. Now I'm just going to take a look through and I'm going to circle the word I think is the best one. And if I look at it, I think probably my first one, the first one I showed you is my best. So I'm just going to go ahead and circle that one show that's the one I like the best and then I'm going to move on to the directions write the word add circle your best word so I'll grab my pencil again add has a bunch of C strokes in it too starting with my A and then my D and then one more D and again I can probably fit three or four more in here so that's my goal Now that I have my words complete, just like before, I'm going to go ahead and circle the one I think is best. And this time, I don't know, it's kind of a toss-up, but I like this one the best this time. So I'm going to put a circle around that, just so I know I've checked myself and I know um, that I'm making improvements. And then on the bottom, since you are technically at home, you will complete this last line, which we didn't usually do in class. It just says practice writing the words code and add at home. And all I'm really looking for is two to three times for each word. And you can do it however you want. Like you could go code, add, code, add, code, add, add, code, add, add, code. Add code, add code, 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 add. However you want to do it, doesn't matter to me. As long as there's two or three of each of them on the line when you're finished. Now that I'm done, I'm just going to take my paper. I'm going to carefully put it back the way it belongs. And I am going to return it to my binder. Like I said before, if you choose to, once you're at home, not put it back in your binder, I'm absolutely fine with that as long as your parents are and as long as you have a place that you can put it so you don't get frantic or panicked or frustrated looking for it. So the binder is there to help you stay organized. It's going to be your choice if you use it once you're at home and then once you come back to school we will likely continue to use them depending on if we go hybrid or if we come back full time so um, as long as you're distance learning and hybrid you will use your binder thanks kids bye